The food and wine were beyond praise. You don't even remember falling asleep. Then you wake up at night, searing pain throbbing at your temples. As you come to your senses, you realize with horror that one of your groups has disappeared without a trace. <gasps> oh, good God, that scumbag. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Displaced. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon, and I hope you had some time to check out the first video on Displaced. Um, if you have not, I'll try to have a link down below in the description. Maybe the first um, link you see down there will be the first video. But if you haven't done so, I definitely encourage you to do so. This is a really cool game. It reminds me so much of This War of Mine meets Neo Scavenger, which are two amazing games in my book, and a combination of both of them is actually really exciting. And now, this right here that we're checking out is indeed a, an old demo build. Therefore, it's outdated, just a couple of bugs too. The game comes out on June 11, so if you guys are enjoying this, would like to see an actual run with the full build, whenever I get my hands on it, let me know in the comments and we will definitely cover it down the line. But right now I figured we'd do at least one more video and then we wrap it up and wait for the full release just in case. So, last time around, we got into a fight, which luckily gave us equipment for everybody. So Adam, Adele, Joe, and Jude now have baseball bats and Max, the alcoholic, has the gun still. But he was an ex-cop, so I figure he might as well hold on to that gun here for now. And we also have a lot of good food, it does seem. Now what we're trying to do right now is get up to 15,000 to take the ship out of the country. That's what we're doing here. We want to get out of this country because war is obviously over here spreading about, which is no good. So we still have two more convoys for the journalists left over, which are apparently down here, I think. So we might get caught by this war. I'm not sure. But for now, I think we probably go down through here is what I would say. So let's start making the trip if we can. There's also a couple of dynamic icons over there. Could be bad people, good people, no idea. But here we go. The next stop is a former resort that was first turned into a hospital and then bombed to ruins with doctors and patients still inside of it. Kingley says it was a friendly fire. Okay. It's a terrible situation, man. War. War never changes. So, that's the second one, and we have one more to do, so I think that would be it right here, right? Is that it, really? Huh. <laughs> that was an easy one. Your next stop is a checkpoint that switched occupants many times. Judging by the uniforms, it's currently under the control of pro-government troops. The journalists flock to them, chatting merrily. You keep your distance and are rewarded with a view of Kenley's nose meeting a buttstock and his colleague's camera shattering after being introduced to a rock. It seems the soldiers aren't in a mood to be interviewed. Leave the camp. Yeah, so much for your story there, huh? So much for your story there. Well, I hope I still get paid, because I brought you here. Are we good now, or what? Where, where are the journalists at? <laughs> Where's my money at? There's a trade over here, which I'm not sure. Do we want to do any trades? I mean, we're trying to get up to 15,000. I mean, we could sell some food, but I'm not sure that's a good idea, because we still have to travel over there, right? So, so what happens now? Do I go to McKenzie, or what? There's a big-ass exclamation point right here, but I'm worried about the war catching up. While searching through yet more ruins, you find a surprisingly intact safe. It looks like both bombs and marauders have failed to open it. Can you? So this might be a random event that, assuming you have the proper person for, or maybe the proper item for, you could actually unlock. But at the moment, with this build, we'll have access to five people, and none of them are actually lockpick dudes or whatever, so I don't think we'll have any luck, but let's give it a try here. Try to open it. You waste several hours trying to open the safe to no avail. Even bombs couldn't damage it, so yeah. Oh no, stop, please. So, unfortunately for us, the people that we had were not available for that. What is this quest? Oh, is that it right there? You see what you believe to be an old woman. You take a closer look and realize she's actually about 30. But her incredible suffering has aged her beyond her years. She says nothing, but the madness blazing in her eyes speaks volumes. A girl of about 10 is by her side and begs you to take her and her mother to the nearest city. She says her mom is sick and can't make it there on her own. I mean, we're on a timer ourselves because that danger area is increasing, but I mean, can I really say no to this? This is a terrible situation. I gotta help out, right? So we should help the poor things. If we don't, they'll fall victim to the next scumbag who comes along. Yeah, so we'll help them out. Everybody's starving now. We need to sit down for a meal because we're gonna start losing HP really soon. But the problem is I think we're very low on time and if we sit down and eat here, this will catch up to us and we'll be in trouble. We have a more we have some marauders over there too. And I'm taking where am I taking these ladies to? 
You're going down here. Okay. Well, let's move here and then we'll... Oh, we can't because we're starving. No, no, we can move. So, now that we're kind of far away, we will sit down and get some food. Uh, let's make a meal if we can. Let's actually sit down and camp. There you go. Everybody's fed now. Good. How much food do we have left over? Oh, we got some soups and <laughs> cereal in the can and we got some tuna. I think we'll be fine here. What is this? Why, why are you giving me an exclamation mark? I already fed. I already fed these people. Stop it, game. Freaking me out. Right, let's move this way. Oh, this might be the quest down here. Oh man, we are straying really far from our location though, where we're supposed to be heading to. Once in the city, the girl leads the way to her house. When you find only a pile of debris, the woman falls to the ground, unable to cope with yet another blow. Suddenly, a man in tattered clothes appears and darts towards the young girl. Father! His daughter cries as she flies into his waiting arms. Life seems to return to the woman. You leave quietly and continue your journey. Well, I did a good thing, but <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I would have preferred a little bit of a reward because that actually kind of put me way out of our... way out of our goal here. <laughs> Is that a bad thing that I expected a reward? I did a good thing, yes, I'm aware, but come on, I need to get my people to where they're supposed to be going. Plus, I need to get up to 15,000. Okay, we have a question mark here. Let's go check out this city. Maybe we could find something over here. Nothing? Hmm. We're almost out of power, too. I'm gonna have to rest pretty soon. I'm getting hungry yet again. Oof. So one of the things I'm noticing in this game right now is that the... Hunger is definitely un unbalanced. You saw we just ate a while ago, we traveled down here, and now we're starving yet again. So, as I mentioned, it's an early build, really outdated. That's the reason why I don't want to play too much of it, because I know there's a lot of balancing to be done, plus the bugs that I mentioned. But, as you can see, we just ate a huge meal, and now we're starving yet again. So, um, we also have to sit down and rest pretty soon. So, let me check what this is first. We have some objects we can check out over here. A gas station with a small convenience store inside comes into view as you turn. It seems be it's seen better times. You smell smoke and hear the squeaking of doors dangling under hinges. It looks deserted, and there's a chance there might be something valuable inside. But your gut tells you this is the also a perfect setting for an ambush. That might be the case, but considering we're very low on supplies and we're starving yet again, I think we have to look for supplies. Trying to keep a low profile, you sneak into the store. It's quiet, you decide to look inside. What a wretched scene. Everything that could have been broken or busted open has been. The thick, the thick stench of blood hits your nose like a brick, overpowering the smell of smoke. Several mass bodies lie scattered across the floor, and they're no longer a threat. So you search and store and find some supplies. Oof. Well, we found food at least, so that's great. Okay. Oh, of course. I thought we were out of the woods. Suddenly, a bullet hits the wall just inches from your head, and mass thugs start pouring in through the doors and windows. It's an ambush, of course. Okay, we have... Luckily for us, we only have four enemies. Well, I mean, that's not luckily, but only one of them has a weapon and everybody else is punching. So no guns on them at the very least. So we should be okay. Now, we have taken damage already because we're starving, so... We're coming in here a little bit weak ourselves, but I think we should be okay. So let's see, let's get ourselves in a position if we can. Um, you are going, you need evade, right? You need to evade. So we'll place you like right over here. You need some defense, so let's go maybe over here. Gunman, you need defense as well. Mm, let's smack, yeah, I think this should be fine for you. I'm not giving you any sort of boost to your attack power, but you already got the gun, so you should be fine, I would say. Brute Force, we could also do Stealth, and we could do Hide as well. I'm gonna go in with Brute Force, I don't think this should be a big problem for us. Now, you need to evade a bit. You have the critical attack, so that could be pretty useful. You also need defense, so let's go down here, and... That's my party, right? Yeah, let's fight. Technically speaking, I think we should be fine with this fight. Oh, we took damage, 7, okay. 20 to them. 15 to them. Okay, good, good. Crit. I love this guy with his crit, so that guy's already down. Two down. Two to go. Ten. Good job, good job. Two. Okay, three down. One left to go. He's only got 12 left, and we got him. Excellent. All right, good job, guys. We only took one damage. So that's perfectly cool. Inventory. 
We got a couple more bats, which is useful because our weapons do break down over time, so that's gonna be alright. They barely had any food, but luckily, we did find food here, so overall, I would say definitely worth it. Good thing we checked this out. So now, as you can see, we're really tired and we're starving, so it's time we actually have ourselves a meal. I think we have to rest before we actually... or we have to eat before we rest, if I'm right. Because otherwise, we won't get the full benefit of getting our complete power back. So let's camp. Let's cook. And now we have to rest as well. There we go. Okay. So, we could go out and hunt as well. Have we done that before? Have I showed you guys the hunting thing? I believe it's completely random. I would like to also explore. Let me do an exploration and open this up a bit. Okay. So, we have another question mark over here. We have Nipigon. Now, at this rate, I would say it would be silly to go back around through here. I think we continue down this way and hopefully we could hook around to the port. I wonder what happened with the reporter thing. Like, we finished the quest apparently, but we got no reward at all. Is it because they got dealt with by the guards? I mean, they weren't killed. But they did lose their story because they lost the cameras, too. I don't know. Alrighty, well, let's um, head over here and find out that's something important for us. We have Hunta and we have Valier. Ooh, what is this? You find an apartment building on the outskirts of the town. The owner, an elderly but strong man, welcomes you. He insists that you rest and share a meal with him. He even offers you wine. His hospitality in this uncivilized world surprises you. Yeah, so much that I'm thinking this might be an out of ambush, too. Uh, agree, agree to dinner and drink, accept the invitation but refuse to drink the wine, politely turn him down. Well, what do you think? I mean, if we're, if we're declining the wine, what does that mean? That we think that he spiked it with something that might screw us up? But we're okay with eating the food as well, as long as we don't drink? Unless the invitation that we're accepting is only to come inside a rest but not eat and drink. Because I'm thinking, if he's going to spike the wine, what's going to keep him from spiking the food as well? Should we believe him? Well, you know what, whatever. This is only a, a little beta test build that we're doing here, so let's take let's throw caution to the wind. Normally, if I was doing a legit run of the full build, I probably wouldn't be so convincing of this, and I would probably do this one, but since right now we're just doing a little show-off of the game, let's agree to dinner and drink and see what happens. The food and wine were beyond praise. You don't even remember falling asleep. Then you wake up at night, searing pain throbbing at your temples. As you come to your senses, you realize with horror that one of your groups has disappeared without a trace. <gasps> oh, good God, that scumbag. That scumbag. They drugged us and they, they killed us or kidnapped one of us. Oh, we could go back, I think. No, I don't think we could go back. This isn't even the quest that we were going to. We were walking towards that quest and we got stopped by that guy. So have we lost a, a member altogether or what? Who was it? Oh, it was Adele. Who was amazing at doing trades for us. Oh, no. Well, I'll be honest with you. At least I'm glad it wasn't the alcoholic. Only because he's got the gun. Now that we lose items, I'm surprised they actually left our items. I mean, I guess the event can't be too terrible. Like, can you imagine? You lose a member, you lose all the items. But technically speaking, it would make sense. I mean, if you're getting rolled for people and, you know, whatever, I'd imagine they take everything as well. Well, let's go over here now and go check out this quest. I doubt we could get that person back at this point. That's a really terrible event, though, when you think about it. Oh, it's another trade area. Man, that was a waste. I'm not looking to trade right now. Eh, let's go. Let's go up there then. Man, that's a terrible event though. But I told you guys, and was I not right about this? I told you guys I really don't trust this guy. If I was doing a legit run, I would say no to the drinking and the eating. We could probably rest a while, but no would I eat that food. Because the guy seemed too sketchy, like, Hey, random strangers, come on in. Let me treat you like you're at home here. Nah, I'm sorry to say, not in a war scenario. Or maybe there's good people around, sure, but you know. It looks like there's something in the bushes. Should we check it out? Yes, examine. Damn, it's just an old rig loaded with boxes, everything valuable stolen before the war. But you managed to find a few useful goods, so what do we got here? Hey, this could sell for some pretty good stuff. Wow, we found gold? You telling me people left us behind? Oh, <laughs> their loss is my gain. All right. Now, we are starving yet again pretty soon. Can we make a meal? Yes, we... Oh, we only have eight of eight calories now. Oh, we're very low on food then. Very low on food. There's another city over here as well. Let me do a... Explore. 
We have Verdon, we have Minidosa, Normetal, we have a big city over here too, and another random spot here as well. Well, I mean, we're gonna have to stop to eat pretty soon, plus we're almost out of energy again, so that means we're traveling a lot slower. Let me move towards this quest marker here, and we have to stop. Yeah, so we're starving again. As I mentioned, this is something I'm pretty sure Dave hopefully will look into with the full release, like the balance of the starvation, because it happens a bit too quick for my liking. So that's something that would definitely would hinder my experience if that's not actually, like, you know, balanced a bit. Oh, no, you know what? We actually have more food. The problem is we're not using 10 of 10 anymore because we lost a person. That, okay, that makes sense now. I, I figured, like, we still had a lot of food. So I was a bit weirded out about the entire 8 of 8. But yeah, we lost a person, so now we're only eating 8 calories as opposed to, or whatever the hell that, that um, weight measurement is. Let's actually go ahead and get some rest, too. And fill that up. Okay. But you know what? I'm actually, I'm not salty about losing a person, because you know what that tells me? This is a trade spot. Let me actually see about selling some things here. You meet a group of refugees in exchange news. Their leader asks if you have any food. And he says he's ready to trade. So we can attack him if we want to, like we did last time. But this time I'll just do a trade. I'm not I'm not actually upset about losing a person straight up. Because you know, in Neo Scavenger, Neo Scavenger had a lot of events that would just be an instant game over. So it's still in that spirit, you know? Like I've played games like Neo Scavenger that if you do one wrong move, you literally lose the entire run. So I can't be too salty about losing one person. And if anything, I could have lost the entire run with that alone, and I still would have been like, you know what, it's actually very similar to Neil Scavenger, so, you know, I, I can't be too salty about it. Now, this is expensive alcohol. We need to get up to 15,000, so I guess we should sell that too. I'm pretty sure if you drink that, it probably has a benefit on our stress whenever we're stressing out, but right now we're fine. And these weapons, you know what? Can I unequip you? No. Can I... Mm, I was hoping we could swap the weapons against these over here. How's the durability over here? Uh, condition one of two, one of two. Well, ours are probably one of two as well, so you know what, let's actually... Now let's keep them, because they'll break and we need replacements, so yeah, I'll keep them for now. I think that's all we... Oh, wait, wait, we got this vase sell, Dad. And that's about it. Do we want to buy some extra food off of them? We're up to 5,483. No, uh, that'll be it for now. Okay, so let's go over here to Minidosa. So yeah, as I mentioned, I'm not really too salty about that event, because, you know, hey, Neil Scavenger did the, did the exact same thing to me. Plenty of times. Um, I want to do another explore, if you know. Okay, we have Schuler, we have Mobert, and this. Not to mention, too, if you've noticed, the cities have been kind of barren. But as I mentioned, it's like a demo build, so I imagine probably with the full build, there'll be like more events in the cities as well. I kind of want to go to a city and do a hunt and see if we can get some items that way. You see a battlefield, smoke is rising out of a displaced vehicle, and piles of dead soldiers litter the landscape. Are, 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 you, are you giving me the idea that that area is mined? Or people are watching it and killing? Well, <laughs> let's cross the field, why not? You cross the field in broken sprints, remembering to search the bodies. Everything useful ends up in your backpack. Oh, hey! It worked out. Hey, we got a medkit out of that too? And a little bit of food. Perfect. Continue with the journey. So, let's see. Are we almost out of time? I believe we're almost out of time here. Let me do a... We're starving again. Oh, big surprise. Let's grab a meal here. And what I want to do is let me do a hunt for items. And I figure since we're in a city, we might find some stuff. Although we just found trash. We found veggies. Well, I really guess it was something. Nothing too crazy, though. Not enough energy. Oh, we're almost out of energy again, too. Let me do another hunt. Hey! Cigarettes, bandages, and this. Okay, cool. And if you're wondering, do you... Is there no repercussion for doing item searches? There, There is. As you can see, I'm out of energy now. So every time you search, you do lose energy. So you can't just spam that over and over until you get amazing items. So now that we're completely worn out, which is fine, now we can definitely go ahead and get some rest. How's our hunger? Hunger is fine. Okay, cool. So that worked out pretty well. So we have you and you, or we can just cross over there. Well, since we're almost out of time, let me do one more event over here, and then we'll wrap it up. Yeah, I'm digging this so far. Oh, it's uh, objects, cool. I'm really digging this game. To oh, ho, 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 ho. 
Are you a repetition or are you probably an event without um, an ambush? Yeah, this is the same thing. Let's look for supplies. What's gonna happen this time? Alright, so we take everything valuable, which is barely anything at all. And yes, it was an ambush again. So I wonder if that's always an ambush or if it's just kind of like, you know, RNG based. However, we're only fighting with four people now, so it's going to be a bit more difficult. Now, luckily, these guys only have a bat to their name, which is good. Um, Alright, so Gunman, let's bring you... You need what? You need defenses a little bit. Let's place you like... Over here. Major defenses on you. You need some evasion, so we can do that one. And you need evasion as well, so we'll do that one. Actually, right here. Let's fight it out. We can skip the fight, too. So if you don't want to see what the outcome is, you can just... Let, let me try doing that. I'm curious. No, oh, no. Oh, yeah, it just goes instantly into the end event. Oh, so you don't have to sit through that if you don't want to. Of course, you won't know who's actually taking damage, who's doing bad or not, but... You can just skip it straight up, and you get your rewards if you win. So it seemed that for this fight, only Jiu took any damage, and everybody else was fine. Oh, that's not bad. I like the idea that you actually skip. And now our bats are broken here. Oh, this is bad. Is there no way? Oh, here we go. So we'll definitely check this out upon a full release, or whenever I get a full copy. And if you guys want to see some more, let me know, and we'll do a full run. Let me know in the comments, let me know by leaving a like. I will catch you next time.